doesn't stick when we put it in here to melt, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and put just a little bit more just to be on the safe side. That way our marshmallows are nice and toasty and melty. While that is melting on the, on the stove, we're gonna go ahead and take our pan. We have some melted butter right here and we are just gonna get our pan all nice and ready. We do this so that the marshmallow and the cereal does not stick on the pan when we put it in. And that way it's just easy to take it out out of the fridge when we're done with it, okay? Make sure you coat the whole sides. And that is done. We're going to set this off to the side until we are ready. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and grab our bowl real quick. Okay, we're going to measure out our marshmallows. Okay, just go ahead and pour those in there. If you like a lot of marshmallows, you can go ahead and put a lot of marshmallows in, it doesn't matter. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the cereal, okay? So, that looks to be about enough marshmallows. Next, we're gonna go ahead and dump our marshmallows into our melted butter. Okay, make sure you use a spatula for this one. Okay, uh, everything else gets stuck to the spoon, okay? So just go ahead and mix it around. Make sure we try to get as much butter on all the marshmallows, okay? Make sure you keep an eye on this or have an adult help you. After a few minutes, the marshmallows should start uh, mixing together and it becomes this nice, creamy, you know, off-white looking color because of the butter. It becomes nice and rich, okay? So we're gonna let this melt for a few more seconds and then we're gonna come over here and measure out our Fruit Loops. So while the marshmallows are finishing uh, melting, we have our pan here ready to go. And we're gonna have our fruit loops in a bowl. We're gonna measure out, okay, I would say about five or six cups of fruit loops. Okay, that sounds like a good ratio for our marshmallows that we put in. We're done. We're gonna go ahead and throw this into our pot, mix it up real quick, and put it into our pan. Okay, now that our marshmallows all melted and we have our fruit loops all measured out, we're gonna go ahead and toss them in, mix them up, and get them in our pan. That was so aesthetically pleasing. Okay, it's gonna get a little messy, but I promise it is so worth it. Okay, once it's kind of all nice and mixed, we're gonna go ahead and put it over here in the pan. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and put our cereal bars in the pan. Okay, make sure you get as much of that marshmallow out as you can. There you go. Okay, once it is in the pan, we're gonna go ahead and level it off. Okay, we're gonna flatten it. We're gonna make sure it's in the pan. There we go. Okay. okay, smooth it out as much as you can. They don't have, it does not have to be perfect. Okay. And there you have the marshmallow cereal bars. We're gonna go ahead and put these in the fridge for about 10 minutes to chill, and then we're gonna come back and cut them. So now that we have chilled our cereal bars, we're gonna go ahead and take it out, cut it up, and give it a try, okay? So here we go. Oh my 
goodness, look at how delicious that looks. Now be careful when you're using the knife, always have an adult help you out, okay? It is a little hard, remember we are using marshmallows and it was in the uh, fridge, okay? Let's go ahead and taste a little bit on this side, okay? Oh man. Mm-hmm, absolutely delicious. I hope you guys had fun here, and I hope you get to try this in your kitchen. Okay, bye.